reliable, abundant, cleaner, and affordable. A major energy source for millions of Americans, businesses, and industries. Energy efficient, natural gas. Many aspects of our daily lives are made possible by natural gas. It's used to heat and light our homes, in our gas stoves to cook food, for transportation and more. Inside the Blueprint visited the Houston headquarters of ArchRock to find out more. At ArchRock, our role in natural gas is compressing natural gas to bring it to market. We do this by providing these services to the largest EMPs and midstreamers in the country. We transport our natural gas through the oil and gas fields in order to bring natural gas to homes and businesses across America. Our team works 24-7, 365 days a year to ensure we bring power and natural gas to America. Our truck's customers are the largest energy, oil and gas producers and midstreamers in the business. Typically, these are household names everyone would recognize. What's great about our customers is that we partner with them and have for 20 plus years and we're deeply embedded in their operation. They entrust a significant amount of their production to us and in return, we give them excellent services to help them take their products to market. Powering a cleaner America. That's the ArchRock promise, as our nation and world move to a cleaner, more sustainable future. ArchRock is a premier service provider of compression for a variety of reasons. Number one, we have a 70-year legacy that we're building upon. We've been doing this longer than any other company in our business. And that's a legacy that speaks well to the service that we provide to our customers. Second, we deliver world-class safety performance. You know, working in the oil field is inherently dangerous, and providing that level of safety focus, tools, training, and performance is absolutely critical to delivering the level of services we do to our customers. We have the best trained employees in the business. The training program that focuses on the quality of the services that we provide to our customers and safety is second to none. And finally, we're investing significantly in enhancing our customer experience by investing in additional tools and training to deliver higher quality services to our customers. This includes the level of telemetry and communications that we put on our equipment. It includes increasingly digitizing more of our services and automating as much as we can. Safety is absolutely a core value at our truck. It's our number one value on our list of value, safety, service, respect, integrity, and pride. It starts with a great culture. It continues with our training program, and it shows up in our results. So with respect to culture, it's what we talk about each and every day. We focus on safety. We want our employees to go home the same way they arrived in the morning. We start with a new hire process. We have two-week training program for them there. We have ongoing training, both safety meetings on a monthly basis. We have an online program called Exonify that's hitting them with safety topics on a daily basis. And we focus on stop the job, which is if something doesn't look right, feel right, smell right, you stop the job, get the information you need, need before you proceed. And lastly, with respect to results, I'll stack our safety results against any of our competitors or our customers. And I can tell you that, that when I meet with customers, uh, our statistics are better than theirs 99% of the time. And more importantly, in a 70 year history at our truck, our best three years of safety are the last three, 21, 22, and 23. And we're doing it again in 2024. AI and digitization will totally transform compression services going forward. And we've started that process by installing telematics on every one of our units. So literally, we're able to see hundreds of pieces of data throughout the day, day after day, week after week. That gives us the ability to maintain our equipment better, improve runtime and throughput for our customers, improving their profitability, gives us an opportunity to predict failures before they happen, to be able to maintain our units at a higher standard and improve the quality of life for our employees. And then lastly, all of these things run down to our investors and the company overall by improving profitability, lowering our cost, 
And we can also use this data in conjunction with our customers, one of our largest customers in the Permian. We're working together on a joint project to not just lower mechanical failures and lower mechanical shutdowns, but we're able to use the data that we have to drive into production-related issues. One of the biggest changes is really just the changes that I've seen in my career, and that's just the way the equipment and the basins where we operate have changed. You think about the growth of the shale plays and things that go on there versus old style plays where equipment was located. The size of the unit's gone from a 200 horsepower unit to now we're talking three and 4,000 horsepower units. So it's bigger equipment, it's more powerful, can do more things, has more bells and whistles, if you will. Compression demand is solely driven by the demand for natural gas production. With that said, bookings for this year were fully booked out. We're taking bookings for two years into the future at this point, working strategically with our core customers to make sure that we meet their demand. With about 60% of that overall booking going into the Permian Basin, which is the largest basin in the United States. Supply for natural gas in the United States has continued to go up and is expected to go up as we go into the future. This year, we're going to hit a milestone of about 100 BCF a day. A lot of that has come from the shale boom. The shale boom allowed us with new technology to go and open up more production more efficiently, which has allowed that production to continue to grow and double over the last couple of decades. By 2050, we expect to see about a 30% increase in overall natural gas production growth as we continue to, to meet the demand required. Interestingly enough, by 2050, about 25% of the overall energy demand is going to come from natural gas. As America has become the largest exporter in the world of liquefied natural gas, or LNG, at our truck, we're not helping to power just the cleaner America, now we're helping to power a cleaner world. One of the benefits to natural gas is it's the cleanest burning form of hydrocarbons that we have. Over the last about 20 years, we've increased the production of natural gas in the US by more than 80%. And over that same time frame, we've reduced CO2 emissions by more than 15%. If we really wanna get serious about reducing CO2 emissions globally, we would work and look to export as much clean burning U.S. natural gas as we could. But in addition, we're working hard to build a more sustainable natural gas industry by focusing and investing in technologies that will help reduce emissions. First, methane, and on the methane front, we've invested in technologies that would help with leak detection and repair so that both we and our customers can make sure we're keeping the gas in the pipe. In addition, we've developed our own technology called the Carbon Hawk. That sits alongside regular or ordinary oil and gas operations to allow us to capture discharges that would otherwise be vented to the atmosphere in normal operations. And third, we're working to electrify our fleet. And by doing so, we reduce the amount of combustion and therefore the amount of emissions in our business. Discover more about ArchRock, how it safely delivers cleaner energy, helping customers reduce emissions while powering a cleaner America. Visit the premier natural gas compression provider online at archrock.com. And for the latest in biz news and views, turn to us at insidetheblueprint.com.